I don't mind. Welcome back to my channel, guys. Before I start working on the RAM, please help me subscribe to my channel. Click that bell notification so every time I have a new video, you guys will be updated. But I'm working on a uh, 2012 RAM 1500 5.7 liter. So right now, the problem with the uh, check, engine, check engine light code is um, for the EVAP system, small leak and large leak, and then the purge valve. Um, the uh, other code, the uh, generator voltage is the uh, um, alternator. But uh, for this customer, he only wants to fix the uh, alternator problem because his car keep on dying because um, the alternator doesn't charge the uh, battery. Now that's the code for the uh, alternator, the top one. Now I already know what these two, uh, three codes are for. It's very common on a Dodge uh, for the uh, purge valve and the uh, leak detection pump for the uh, EVAP. Those two are the main one for the EVAP codes. And then uh, now I'm gonna start the car. You're gonna see there's a uh, battery light uh, turns on. see the battery light stay on so uh, this light stay on because of the uh, um, alternator is not charging at the right uh, voltage now let me show you how to check it uh, now let me show you how to check it with the voltmeter check the battery and the uh, alternator so right now the car is off you can see it's 12.5 so that's good now I'm gonna start the car with no load okay with no load on start the car with no load now i'm gonna start the car with no load no load mean no headlights on uh no radio on no ac on so everything must be off so that's no load everything is off radios off and then uh headlight everything on off there you go that's no load and then i'm gonna show you how to check the uh alternator So with the uh, negative terminal to the negative of the battery, and then I'm gonna have the uh, positive on the uh, back, positive of the uh, alternator, and you see it says charging at 12, uh, 14.56. So that's the uh, correct charging voltage with no load. Now I'm gonna go turn on the. Uh, Headlight, the AC, the high beam. Now I'm gonna turn everything on. I'm gonna turn the headlight on, high beam on, AC on, radio on. There you go, AC on. AC on this side, there you go. And then I'm gonna show you, see all the lights are on. That light is not on, the, low, the bottom high beam is on, but I'm gonna show you with load the charging voltage it's erratic it's jumping up and down you can see you can see the charging drop down to 12.5 sometime it dropped down to 11 sometime it dropped down to uh, 10 and then it goes back up to uh, 14 13 whatever it is but under 13 under yeah under 13 was would be considered as bad with load now that's how you check it let me see if it dropped down to 11 because earlier when i checked it it dropped down to uh 11 5 11 7 11 9 and then it picked itself back up so slightly dropping but not much now you see how it's jumping back up there you go that's how you check it now, if you have the uh, battery tester you can use the battery tester right here so I'm gonna use my uh, battery tester right here just showing you guys how to test it so cold cranking amp for the uh, battery now for the uh, cold cranking amp for this one is 730 so right there I got it to 730 there you go testing see how it says uh, uh, state of health for the battery is 61% even though the it says state of charging that's the alternator even though it says 100 but when I check it manually with the voltmeter the uh, alternator is not charging the battery but even though the battery is good it's just draining the battery right now but the battery is good in good condition to take the alternator off I removed the uh, negative terminal on the battery and then uh, 
I took out a 13 millimeter right here on the uh, alternator or the uh, battery cable. That's a 13 millimeter bolt, okay? Uh, for the uh, lock, not the lock, uh, yeah, the lock, the connector, just push this red tap up, press on this uh, tap right here and pull straight up from here. And then uh, for the uh, belt, for the drive belt, you're gonna put it on the uh, tensioner right here. This is a 3 8 And then you, what you're gonna do, you're gonna push down on the tensioner to get the uh, tension off of the uh, belt. And that way you can uh, uh, slide the belt off the alternator. And then for the uh, pulley right here, you have to remove the uh, pulley right here. So that's a 13 millimeter bolt. Now you're gonna remove that one to get to, uh, have some room to get to this, uh, um, I believe this one's a 15 millimeter right here and then this one's a 15 millimeter now I got the two 15 millimeter bolts out already uh, let me show you the part number on here I'm not sure if this is original but uh, that's the part number right there uh, this is the uh, part number I bought my uh, remanufacturer right here Denzo that's the part number reman uh, I bought this one for uh, 240 my price but if you uh, buy it list price your price will be 650 kind of pricey so uh for the uh alternator i got the two bolts already i'm gonna pry it up off of the bracket and then i'm trying to get it out there you go it's kind of heavy right now i got my uh, new alternator in already i got my idle look pulley back in I uh, got my belt back on, uh, got the uh, positive uh, cable on the battery. For the uh, connector, make sure you guys check the uh, pin inside here. Make sure it's not damaged or corroded or not bent or anything. Check the back here too. Make sure it's not ripped or broken. If it's good, just go ahead and put it back. There you go. Click. Lock it. Now I'm going to... Um, reconnect my negative terminal on the battery and then I'm gonna let the car idle for about 10-15 minutes let the new alternator recharge the battery and then I'm gonna show you the result again so after I let the car idle for 15 minutes uh, I'm gonna check the uh, battery again just to double check on the battery make sure that it's good see if it uh, recharges the battery a little bit 730 cr cold cranking M even though the battery is kind of aging um, it's uh, since 2019. Uh, oh, there you go. It charges back up to the uh, 70%. So you know how before it was uh, state of health what that was at uh, 61%. Now with the uh, new alternator, uh, it's, it's charging the uh, battery back up to 70%. So uh, this battery is still in good condition. Uh, I believe as you drive it, it'll charge the uh, battery uh, some more. So this is still in good condition battery, but it's kind of old already, but still good. I checked the uh, battery with uh, my voltmeter again. So I got my negative on the uh, negative of the t terminal battery. There you go, 12.9, 12 that's pretty good. Now I forgot to uh, tell you guys, uh, make sure you guys, uh, when you guys take out the uh, alternator, inspect the belt too, the dry belt. Make sure there's no cracked or no ripped. If it's bad, just replace it. So now I'm gonna, turn on the car to check now since I replaced the new alternator uh, when I turn on the car the battery light should go away and I'm gonna test the car with no load I'm gonna test the alternator with no load first and then with load now the battery light should go away you can see the battery light disappear so that's good now so with no load I mean with everything turn off the lights off the AC off, the radio off. Now I'm gonna check it. Still got my negative on the negative with the car, with the engine running 14.1, 14.2, that's really good. So you can see there's no lights on or nothing. I'm gonna touch it to the uh, positive of the alternator there you go it's charging at 
14.2 so that's really good so for the correct amount of charging voltage for alternator it should be above 12.9 12.9 at the lowest 12.9 up to 14.5 14.6 is still okay too so right now i'm gonna turn on all the headlight all the ac to see if the alternator still hold the charging voltage headlight on high beam on Low motor on, AC on, radio on, there you go. So before, when I turn on all the lights and the uh, AC, the radio, it dropped down to 12.9, 12.8 around there. So now I'm gonna check it one more time. You see how it's still holding the charging voltage? So this is a good alternator. 14.3 still in the range touch it to the alternator still in the range right there oh i had it slipped off so there you go 14 14 3 that's good enough there you go so now i'm just gonna go clear the uh, check engine light now i have the uh key on i'm gonna show you the code again but i'm pretty sure the code's not gonna be here because i took out the negative on the uh, battery let's see if it's still here nope it's gone so for again for this car the uh, check engine light code was for the evap system small league and large league and then the uh, generator which is the alternator uh, that's the one that the customer wants to replace only just the alternator uh, code to fix because the battery keep on dying so if you guys wondering um, what's the other two problem for the evap is the uh, uh, perch valve which is right under the uh, battery uh, the perch valve has the uh, two evap line one going down one going out like this with one connector on top that's the perch valve and then the other code is for the uh, leak detection pump so that part is where the uh, uh, gas tank is at so it's in the all the way in the back the right side of the gas tank on the top side so you don't have to lower the gas tank uh, so it's the right uh, it's the white pump uh, so you turn it left to uh, take out the pump it's a it's a white leak detection pumps right next to the draft shaft once you get down there you see it but I'm just gonna clear the uh, light again one more time even though it's not here just to make sure there you go that's it so uh, that is it for this video guys so if you guys are new to my channel please help me subscribe you guys have any comment question comment down below ask me anything you want to ask me i'll try to get back to you as soon as possible but uh no i'm out peace